In this video, we're going to go over how to register a database and connect Yerby to your database. So the first step we're going to do is go to the admin panel. You do have to be an administrator user within Yerby to complete this step. We're going to go to app databases. So, so typically this is the very first thing that you do within the install is connect Yerby to your database. We're going to click this register new app. So the concept of connecting to a database is creating what we call a Yerby app, which we'll cover in later steps. And for this particular process, we're going to do an AnyDB app. That's going to be any of your Microsoft SQL, Oracle, or ODBC compliant databases. Also where your MySQL and PostgreSQL and those sorts of databases are located. So let's go ahead and hit next. First step, we're going to give it a name. This is something that you can change later. In this case, we're going to do the AdventureWorks uh, database and give it a description. And we're going to say next. And on this step is where you make the determination of what type of database you're connected to. We're going to have native connectivity to Microsoft SQL. If you're connecting to Oracle, you're going to want that full Oracle client on the Yerby server. Uh, native connectivity to MySQL as well as PostgreSQL and we'll cover ODBC in another video but essentially if you want to use ODBC you'll just set up the ODBC driver on the Windows server as well. In this case we're going to choose Microsoft SQL and database platform uh, mirrors the database driver. You'll see a couple extra options in here. Uh, you'll just want to pick the right database platform for your driver. This creates all the formulas and allows Yerby to use the right syntax when we talk to that database. I'm going to pick Microsoft SQL for that as well. For the database server, in this case because it is SQL, normally you would have a instance. In my case, I do not have an instance on my database server, so I'm just going to put the actual server name, and then you'll put your database name. So in this case, I'm doing the AdventureWorks LT 2017 version. We'll want a read-only user ID to that database. I'm going to use DSA, but you definitely don't have to use DSA. Any read-only database will do. And generally, your table owner is going to be blank for most databases. In this case, the AdventureWorks does have a table owner, uh, and I'm going to put in Sales LT for that. You can leave app display name uh, blank. You can always fill it in later but if you didn't want users to see the word adventure works if you wanted to use you know a cryptic database name here you could and then put a friendly display name there i'm going to leave that blank because adventure works is, is, a, is a fine name we can always update that later once you fill out all this information we're going to test connection and in this case it passed all the information was in it correctly i'm going to say next and on this particular screen for time set offset Typically, this is going to be GMT0 um, for no offset at all. This really depends on your database. For the majority of databases out there, you'll want to just make this GMT, and then you'll handle the offset. Um, you, 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 you'll handle the offset in the client time zone, which we'll cover later. And I'm not going to check this box adjust for daylight. There are certain databases where you'll do that, and if you do have questions, you can contact our support, and we can help you with that. But for the most uh, use cases, GMT0 is going to be the option here. And you'll notice I'm going to leave the defaults for the timeouts. These will be things that if you do have a slow database or, or you're connecting over a, uh, a network with a lot of latency, we'll have you increase those. But typically, this timeout uh, is going to be perfect. Let's go ahead and hit Finish. And we just registered a database. So now you'll notice that that database will appear on the left side here now. And if I were to click in, you'll see that all those things that we talked about being able to update I can do that within here. So you'll see all the settings. I can change anything. We do not ever bring back that password into the interface. So if you do want to change anything, you'll have to know that read-only password. Um, but you can modify things. And if you had other databases that you were going to connect, you could go back in here and register a new one. If you do have any questions about this process, please contact us at support at yerby.com.